I had very little information going into this shoot. All I knew was I needed to clear my schedule for two days and walk into the test kitchen. Oh my God, a real present. Okay, <laughs> what's that? You won't tell me anything, okay. <laughs> you can open that card and read it out loud. Okay. I was given a lot of presents. Blue batter. A bunch of clues. Experiment. A really wacky scavenger hunt. Watch this. One, two, and three. It led me through a journey to discover <laughs> pancake art. Push the button. Pancake bot. Oh my god, what is it gonna do? My first guess is gonna be tuna. I know little to nothing about pancake art. I've seen some like Instagram videos on my feed, but like I haven't really stopped to watch it. I've never taken much notice of it, to be honest. It sounds like a robot. It's making weird robot noises. Oh, the design's gonna be on the other side. That's why you cook at different times. So there'll be different darknesses and those will delineate the image. That makes sense. I knew it was tuna. You guys are so freaking predictable. I know how to make pancakes. I grew up eating pancakes. It's basically a cake batter. It's not as sweet and it rises really quickly when it hits the hot heat of a griddle. And you'll slick it well in butter or some kind of grease and that helps encourage the browning. I feel like I'm gonna have to make some art with pancake batter. You guys, this is really fun. Oh, to ensure your art is not grotesque, take a trip back to your desk. This is insane. It's funny because I was at my desk like 10 minutes ago. So you guys have been sneaking around behind me. Oh, <laughs> another one. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got a present. Uh, what was it called? With Tim Allen. A home improvement. Yeah. I want to be the neighbor. Oh yeah, you're the neighbor. Right across I can't the see way. his face, right? Look, I got another big present. Oh well what's in the what's in the present, Molly? Pancake molds. Frog, an owl, a kitty, pink batter, blue batter, regular batter. Ugh, Phil got me my apron. <laughs> my favorite apron, and my tools. So what I learned from watching that robot was um, that the way to make designs that aren't just silhouettes is by layering down the batter at different periods so that certain lines get darker than the other, and that's how you get shadows and delineate certain things in a design. Although, who the hell knows anymore? I know, what I know now is I know nothing. Anything else inside of that box? Oh, did I miss something? Oh. Call this number. It's just like, am I at work or am I living my dream right now? I need a piece of paper. Hello? Hello. Um, this is Molly Boz. I was given your number in an envelope and told to call you. And that is all I know about you. No. Well, this is Breck Nebel. Why don't you come down to the kitchen and make some pancakes with me? You're in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, I'll see you in like three minutes. All right, sounds good. Okay, bye. Breck Nebel? I wanna stalk him on Instagram. Pancake breakfast. Oh, Breck, without a C. Holy crap. You guys have to see this. Frankenstein. Oh, wow, look at that elephant. All right, he's waiting. We gotta go meet Breck. Okay, see you guys in the kitchen. I honestly had never really seen pancake art like this before, so when I pulled up Breck's Instagram, I was a little flabbergasted by how detailed the work was. Hi, Breck. 
Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I just stalked you on Instagram. So oh, did you? I know what you're all about. Oh, good. <laughs> that makes it easy. Holy moly, Naj. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, so you're just sketching yeah. it like as this if is... it's a pencil. Exactly. I keep the temperature a little warmer just to move it along a little faster. Yeah. The really detailed stuff, yeah. it's a good secret. Don't even turn the griddle on because then you're not fighting say. the heat. When you make pancake art, you want a griddle that's pretty low temperature so that you have enough time to get all of the detail that you want onto the surface of it and let it really gently cook throughout that process. You're doing very fine lines yep. so it can kind of stay on the griddle. Exactly. And then turn it on once you're done drawing. That's right. This is light enough where I can erase if I need to, if I make mistakes. So who's this guy? Benny. Benny? Sure. Benny the bear? Yeah. That's my husband's name. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's funny. You're just drawing my husband. Yeah. I like to keep a chopstick handy. You can flush out fur. Oh, wow. Things like that. Yeah. I do often start a lot of processes in the kitchen off heat in a cold pan, like crispy chicken thighs, but I never had really considered that that would be an option for pancake cooking. So, oh, so we're just sealing him. in this oh, outline. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So then you can grab onto exactly. that more hefty outline to right. flip. Mm -hmm. I kind of had to reverse that whole understanding of how pancakes cook when trying to make art with them. So after we do this outline, I actually fill it in with normal batter so you don't end up with a thin crepe-like pancake. It's a full, thick pancake. On top of the exactly. design. So you let yeah, that cook gonna, first and mm -hmm. then fill it in. There we go. Uh, I'm into the coloring. Yeah. It's like shadowing on the underbelly. Exactly. Wait, can we back it up a scotch? Absolutely. How did you get into this? And how is it that you make pancakes for breakfast and your last name is Breck? Your first name is Breck. That's just a coincidence. But I got into it. Uh, I have a son who's almost eight now. Uh -huh. When he was about two years old, feeding him breakfast, I started with like pancake molds and stuff. Yeah. And I slowly... Oh, I got some of those. Yeah. Like this? Yep, stuff like that. We started with pancake molds, eventually started adding food coloring, and it just evolved into me sketching out the drawings and filling them in with colored batter. <laughs> so I showed you some quick basics. I think now we should have you do one and check your baseline, and I'll watch and see if I can give you notes. Okay. All right. I will accept that challenge. This is what I'm going to attempt. I once was tasked with styling a movie called The Meyerowitz Stories. I had to make between five and 600 pancakes. The same pancake on repeat all day long because I had to fly in a new one every time so every pancake had to look exactly like the last. Do I start with the head or the body? That's a personal thing. That's a personal thing. I'm gonna start with the body. I don't feel like I nailed the shape of her nuzzle. Muzzle? Nuzzle? Muzzle. Muzzle. <laughs> If you could rate how I'm doing on a scale of one to nailing it, where would you say I am? You can be totally honest. I would put you at a five. I'm happy with a five. I mean, she's not that bad. She's not bad. I mean, did we nail it? You're like, that's not even close to being nailed. I think you did a great job. Thank you. You don't have to say that if you no. don't really think it. I do think it. Thank you. So the one thing I would mention, remember to work foreground to background. So you added highlights on the other side, but you put them on the back, essentially, of the eye. You know what I mean? No. You added the reflection to the eye, but oh. once you flip it, I would focus on your focal point first. Eyes are always a good starting point because they're going to oh, yeah. set the size of your picture and your your scale. It's like and eyes, everything. and then the face gets exactly. built out from the proportions of the eyes and the sides of the head. And exactly. Flooding the pancake with neutral color batter afterwards in order to pick up all of the color that you put down means that you really have to consider what you want to be in the foreground of the pancake first, which is not really how the brain works. You typically would draw front to back, not back to front. I need to tell someone to come down here. <gasps> Who's that? Tuna! <laughs> Who are you? I'm Breck. Nice to meet you. I'm Breck Emily. Evil. So now we're going to try making some pancakes side by side. I 
and give you some tips as we go. We'll use the same reference photo and then anything that comes to mind that might help you make your own, I can tell you as we go along. Okay. So when you go to flood it, these aren't gonna be strong enough to flip, obviously. And trying to do a single line isn't very strong either, so group all that together when you outline it and cover it. Yep. I'm just starting to fill in some of the detail now that I got an outline. New move, scrape it out and inject the highlight when you forget about it. Inspired by you. That's right. You have to train your brain to think backwards. A little bit, yeah. One, two, three. I'm so into that. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I just went with a slightly more subdued palette, so like it's it. not really driving home the whole raccoon yeah. thing necessarily. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask him to do my portrait. Whew, all right. Is that fun? That sounds great. Are you gonna go from here to here? So I'm gonna try to start center of your eyes. Yeah, like focal say, point. Focal point, and then try to work my way out from it there. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. I look a little mad. A little mad. I was just saying that I look a little pissed. Yeah. You do but look that's a little cool. less sunny than usual. I have like good attitude in but this the highlights pancake. Are, are, yeah, are my perfect. hair looks great. Hair looks great. Hair looks great. It's yeah, great we just gotta get that flat line a little more, uh, yeah. more smiley. Yeah. Last thing is to give you this. Oh, you have the fourth card. Yes. I wonder how many there are. <laughs> Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank you. It was this awesome. Was so cool. I appreciate you teaching me everything. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. So Breck just left, and he left me with this envelope. Pancake lace. Extremely thin pancakes, like a doily. I think the first thing that I would like to do is make my own batter. So we have a really awesome recipe on bonappetit.com. It's BA's best buttermilk pancakes. So I think I will use that as a starting ground and then figure out how to tweak the thickness of the batter to do the different things that I need to do. Flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt to combine. And then we'll do the wets, two whole eggs, two tablespoons, melted butter, and then I'm gonna fold it into the dry ingredients. We have four different tips here to choose from and I feel like the thinnest one is gonna give us the finest designs. There is definitely an artistic side to cooking that is the plating and the styling and the presentation of the food. And certainly in some of the fine dining restaurants that I've worked at, I've had to really meticulously lay down little gels and sauces and tweeze things and that sort of feels like an art form in a similar way. Needed to get a little more color. I turned my griddle off. I fucking hate pancake lace. Pancake lace is just a little fussy. I don't see the point. And also, like, I'm trying to bite into a fat pancake. I don't want some stringy bits falling out of my mouth. I don't know, maybe it's for people with small appetites. I'm kind of into this idea of calligraphy with pancakes, so I feel like I better try my hand at it here. I know what I can do. I can write, I can write sea sal, my favorite food. Caesar salad, mollified. Delicious. Oh, I was supposed to write it backwards. Oh my God. You have to sort of think about the mirror image and I ran into a little bit of trouble when I tried to write the word sea sal and then realized that I had to flip it out and it was the mirror image. So yeah, the whole process flipped and reversed my relationship to how you cook pancakes. So I can just look through this and trace. I'm having ideas. In the next 12 hours, I need to find someone who has either really sick handwriting or can do graffiti, who's gonna write out for me, Molly makes pancakes. And then I am gonna figure out how to reverse that image and make pancakes. 
All right, Sal. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I feel good about this. I'm ready for day two. I think I got a good night's sleep last night and I thought a lot about everything that happened yesterday. Not that that necessarily is gonna help me because I can see that there is a card here, which means I have to open it. Experiment. Oh. I'd just like to shout out to Kipton Hinsdale who wrote this for me because without him, we wouldn't have this pancake. Why is pretty wacky. This is the fun part. Oh, okay. That was cool. Okay, I'm just gonna do like a block, like a weird shape here and play around with shading all the different colors. The griddle needs to be off when I do this so that I can get all the colors down and blend them in enough time. We certainly think about color a lot in the test kitchen. One of the first things we think about is what are the colors that are being used in these dishes? Are they being repeated again and again? Does it feel like it's too monochromatic? Is there too much green, too much herb? So trying to strike a balance in that sense is something that we pay a lot of attention to actually in our everyday work. Oh, noise, you guys. I'm just working on my blending technique, which yeah. is what I did here. And then ultimately, I will write one large format pancake that says Molly Tries Pancake Art. Wow. Here. So it's a pancake mural, like pancake street art. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm doing. Cool. Backwards is just like, I'm sorry, I just can't. That's just asking too much of me. Okay, and then I'm gonna try doing, whoops, like some blending with this guy so that it's um, messing around with the way that they interact underneath. You know it's gonna suck if this doesn't flip out. I quit. Like, yeah, just do it with confidence. Okay. Ah! You got it, you got it. Yes! Do you like it? You did better than I would have done, that's for sure. Fine job, Molly. Fine Thank job, you. Uh, oh. Oh. I'm over with it. I think I really hit my stride when it came to writing. I'm more into that than drawing animals, even though I love tuna. Though I think I was impressed with myself at the time, but now when I look back, I'm like, Amateur hour. Who the H is that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> hey, Molly. My name is Jasmine. I'm 23 years old, and I'm the founder of Get Cake, where we specialize in making world famous pancake art. <laughs> hey, Molly, because you're about to get cake. What? <laughs> oh my God. Is that me? Molly. So my challenge to you is for you to make your face as a pancake. And I have a lot of faith and I know it seems hard, but I know you can do it. I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> We're just gonna stick this right in here. I, for some reason, feel like I need to start in the middle of my face, which is my nose. It's just helping me orient myself. So thank you, Breck, but I've chosen to go a different way. This chin is looking pretty large. Okay, so maybe I should have started with the eyes. Sorry I didn't listen to you, Breck. I look like a freak of nature from here.
the bubbling that's happening is the leavening in the pancake activating with the heat. The other thing that's happening is that moisture is cooking off and steam is coming off of it. When you start to see the pancakes sort of have that opaque sheen, that's when you know the batter has pretty well cooked all the way up to the top and that's when you can flip. We have liftoff. Where are you going? Oh. I'm going right back onto the, no, no, the no, guy. I, like, I've got it. I know which direction. I'm going forward. Okay. Yay. Happy birthday! Awesome. It's me. I made a portrait of me for you. I'll treasure it. How much money do you think I could sell this for? This one? This particular well, unique eBay portrait. eBay. Should I put it on my Instagram? Let's put it on eBay. That's like a whole episode right there. Totally. This is too embarrassing. <laughs> so I'm going to go on Instagram. Highest bidder takes the pancake. Putting it up. Are you ready for your final challenge? Holy moly, yes. Test your new abilities by creating a pancake portrait of a colleague. Your subject is waiting in the other room. Is this the other room? Oh my god. Wait, do I get to guess who it is? I definitely didn't know that I was then going to be presented with... No, let's just go for it. Brad as my muse. I knew it would be you. I hate to disappoint you. Actually, I didn't think it would be you, but I totally got this. Make me beautiful, Molly. Obviously. Make me a beautiful pancake. I'm here to make you beautiful. I'm thinking this is kind of part of your look is your, uh, what do they call those shirts? I was thinking naked. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do a life drawing of you right now? Then strip down. Oh, They're not paying enough. You'll be able to sell this one for six bucks, no problem. A big part of you is obviously your beard. Yeah. I think it's pretty characteristic. All right, well, a little fun fact, I won best eyes in high school, okay? So <laughs> you better make them nice. Hey, what color are your eyes? <laughs> uh, blue, hello. Oh, I got the perfect color, right here. Yeah. And then we got the beanie. Ah, uh, the gubellini, black. Jet. You got it. Damn, you're moving pretty confidently over there with that thing. Yeah, well, you know, it's not my first rodeo. You got good at this. Yep. Three, two. Not too shabby, Molly. Okay. I mean, Look I at think those I know lips. that. that Cute is enough that can Brad freaking Leone. Yeah, you nailed it. It man. looks exactly like you. It's could, it's not bad. Could barely tell the difference. I agree. A little side by? <laughs> oh, she done thumbs up. Next time. Oh damn. I love it. <laughs> I like the lips. And his, and his and the beard and the yes. beanie. Yes, I love it. I feel like Brad was kind of impressed with Brad. I did a great job at that, I thought. I really captured his spear in a pancake. I feel like Emily's on my way towards something with this pancake art journey. The technique is actually pretty easy to master. I've figured it out within a day as far as like figuring out how to get the color down and have it be picked up by the flood and flipping it and that whole process. What's difficult is actually like putting your art onto the griddle and that's obviously the thing where I suffered the most. Um, but if you're interested in it, it's not actually that hard to do. It just takes a little bit of practice. Should we check in? I'm gonna go on Instagram. Okay, blowing up. One cent. Someone says I would buy this in an instant global shipping. Wow. Question mark. $14,000. So, sold. You don't think? They don't know what they're getting involved with. <gasps> that was not a monetary offer. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you yeah, had Yeah, I, I just wanna, you know, while I'm getting my portrait taken, I wanna see dick pics. Thanks, internet. I'm so sorry for both of us, really. Um, it wasn't even that good looking. Was it that guy? I don't know, reopen it. Isn't, no. <laughs>